717 right now. We want to check in with meteorologist Ron Smiley. All right, we want to start you off with the advisories that were issued and the winter storm warnings and watches that were issued in the overnight hours you're looking at and you can see them right there. Now it depends on where you are. If you actually you're in Allegheny or Westmoreland County, Washington Green or parts of Fayette County, your advisory actually doesn't expire at six o'clock. It actually expires at noon on Wednesday. Places to the north of there, that's where it gets to six o'clock. So there are some variations of what we can expect over the course of the day on Wednesday uh, because of this uh, really kind of a major winter weather system for us. It's going to be rolling through our area and we'll continue to monitor things there. Now behind the scenes this morning, I've been looking at data just kind of compi kind of compiling um, uh, the, the data and kind of looking at that and saying, hey, what can we expect right here? And I will say one thing. We'll, we'll go over from radar data that is what you're looking at right now over the last six hours to model data. Uh, notice that there's not a lot at least right now of snow on the leading edge of there but there is a little bit as this continues to roll to the north this is a warm front and it will start to interact with some colder air at some point now you'll notice at three o'clock most of the leading edge of this is all going to be in the way of either rain or freezing rain at that point Temperatures here in western Pennsylvania expected to be right at about 32 degrees as this moisture rolls in. Now here's the thing, you see all that snow that just kind of jumps out ahead? Well, I was just looking at things and it really looks like from Pittsburgh, Beaver County to the south, your chance for really seeing more than maybe an inch or so of snow actually historically at least would be fairly small. So looking at the similar setup uh, over the last uh, 30 years, uh, we haven't seen a lot in the way of snow ever developing from this type of a setup. What the big concern for me is going to be that's that we're going to see more of those pinks that you're looking at. That's just kind of a narrow band. That's going to be that freezing rain that slides in. So we're going to see either snow or freezing rain first thing on Wednesday. The big concern obviously is how much of that comes in as snow and how much comes out as what is more concerning freezing rain. That is a tough one to deal with uh, by as we're heading into the afternoon hours. Pittsburgh should be well over the 32 degree mark, but you'll notice places in the center of the state still dealing with could be a major round of freezing rain coming in uh, and that will be really impacting the center of the state. If you don't have to travel east tomorrow, just stay at home because it is going to be really nasty out that way. We'll see high temperatures tomorrow into the 40s and a nice warm up for the rest of the week. Solid chance for some precipitation on Wednesday and it looks like it's all rain on Sunday that's coming in. The sun is out. We should see plenty of sunshine today. It is 13 degrees outside. 7 in Butler and we have 5 degrees in Franklin. So those clear skies have allowed us to see some cold temperatures as we're starting off. We're expecting a high today of 31 degrees. Here's how I think we make it there. A uh, noon temperature 25, 29 at 2, 29 also at 4 o'clock. And here's your seven day outlook, including a warm up for the weekend. Look at Saturday, 57 degrees. I really need to change that icon because most of the day is going to be dry on Saturday. In fact, the rain chances that we have on Saturday will likely arrive after 9 o'clock. That means the actual day on Saturday is going to be looking pretty good. Temperatures likely though will be climbing all day long, so uh, we might be closer to around 50 degrees in the afternoon than that 57. Okay, but either way, definitely warm it up. Yeah, there we go. Turning right.